Hello friends, this is Rahul. Let's simply learn robotic process automation with UiPath. In this video, we will see image comparison. Let's say you have a multiple images and you have to find out the similar images from that bunch of images or uh, from the specific folder. So let me open some sample images here. So here you can able to see there are multiple images present in this folder and we want to find out the exact same or matches images. Yeah, so this is uh, looks like a little bit of difficult if we do some this activity manually, definitely. So with the UiPath RPA solution, we will make it as very easy. Let's open UiPath Studio. Name it to the process. Image comparison. created go to the main workflow go to the activity and create a sequence okay so uh, to compare the images we will use here we will download the custom activity from the UI path connect so this is the URL. Let me open to the browser. Yeah, so we will download this activity. Basically, this is a custom activity. So we will download this activity and using that we will use this activity. So let me log in into that. Yeah, so I'll download this. Yeah. And let me copy it into the project folder. Yeah. Okay, uh, so we have two set of basically images different type of images this is the one set and then another is this is another set of images so i will copy all these into the project folder yeah yeah so now the folder is has been copied now to add the custom activity for that we have to go to the home then settings then manage resources and here you can give the name compare images activity and we will provide the path where we have copied or download that custom activity so my path is this i'll just add here now go to the manage package and here whatever name we have given it will appear into the all packages section under all packages section then here compare image activity and here that activity is present so we have to select this and then install save accept I 
refresh it let me go to the activity panel and here you can see UI part team images and these two activity has been added so in this way you can add any custom activity in your project if there isn't any requirement now let's proceed with the workflow creation so i will take an, one more activity here assign and i'll create variable yes and here i will provide the path of the image directory dot get files and double quote images this is the folder path basically let me convert it into this string of array yeah now uh, another activity that will be used like for each activity to iterate all the images and first of all let me change the type of argument to string here we will provide images as a variable now uh, we will going to use here that compare image activity so here you can able to see in property first image file path and another second image file path yeah, so our first image file path is before that what we'll do uh, let me open images and this is one of the 2001 image that we will compare or we will check in this particular bunch of images or in this folder so I will just copy it into the outside of uh, image folder. Similarly, I'll do for that another one as well. Yeah. Now the first image that path will be provide that the image that we want to find out here and the another is here item so basically this image we will find or we will compare in this particular folder or images folder which we will iterate in the for each loop now our next activity our next step would be we have to create a variable here the variable is here boolean type so control a image reason and effectivity we will check effectivity We'll use if activity if oh, sorry go to the activity panel if yeah so so if image comparison so by default is it true if image comparison is true then it will uh, navigate to then path if image control is uh, comparison is false then it will navigate to the uh, else part so let me use like line activity or a log message activity info info and let me put image is image is match and a 
match is not match now consider the scenario oh, whatever you images uh, will match you have to move in to move to the another folder so for that we will use move files so i'll use this into the move files and then I'll create one folder here like match images okay now we'll provide this path here sorry yeah so whatever matches images are there it will uh, move to the uh, match images folder Mm. yeah that's it in this workflow uh, let's save it and let's try to execute it and let's see whether we will achieve the expected result or not Now you can able to see here execution has been done and there were around 200 plus images so initial four images is matched and remaining images is not matched so let, let's go to the match images folder and see the result uh, match images yes so initial four images of four jpg files matched here you can able to see but remaining were not matches yeah so in this way you can achieve this image comparison one uh, let me uh, show you another uh, set of example of for such another set of images that we have already have the image one folder okay so we'll come we'll check for this as well and we'll select this image to compare with that particular folder images and here we have to give one the name image for is one okay let's save and run the file let me see the output so execution has been started images not matches images not matches then we can see there are four images matches exactly and then remaining again images image is not matches let's refresh and let's see the folder match images folder yeah you can able to see the similar images are there and remaining it is not yeah so in this way uh, you can achieve if you have uh, any scenario like you have to compare the image or picture or any such type of process then definitely you can use this particular custom activity uh, through your iPad connect you have to download and then add it into the 
your project and you can achieve your result that's it in this work uh, video thanks for watching please subscribe